plunging to new depths is free diver Michelle Wee. And she's broken Singapore's national record in the constant weight free diving discipline. Now, this sport is done with a monofin, with a dive of 72 meters at the AIDA free diving World Cup mini competition in Egypt last month. Michelle topped the previous national record of 63 meters. Now, she broke the women's constant weight national record four times on the way to finishing fourth. Now, this makes her the deepest constant weight free diver in Southeast Asia. What an achievement. Well, she joins us tonight for more on her feet. Good evening, Michelle. It is good to see you. Uh, first off, congratulations on breaking this national record uh, for the constant weight free diving. Uh, did you expect to fare so well, though, uh, having to compete so soon after you recovered from COVID-19? You also had the flu as well. Yeah, um, first of all, thanks for having me and uh, for your question. Um, no, I wasn't actually sure how COVID would affect um, my body and my training after I recovered. So, um, you know, you've heard about like long COVID and how people get uh, have their cough for like months afterwards, weeks and months after. So, yeah, that was a little worrying and I wasn't sure how I would do after that. Yeah. Did, did you have to sort of recalibrate your training schedule at all as a result of having COVID and then recovering from it? Yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, I got COVID about a week into the training plan and I had to take a break of about a week as well. And then I got into the water as soon as I could. Um, and after that, uh, I had to start slow again. So slowly build up um, the adaptation to depth and see how my body reacted to that. And then, from, then just take it from there. Mm. Well, you're incredibly brave to do that. I mean, I'm sure many of our viewers will, will feel that way as well. I mean, having recovered from COVID. So tell us, what is involved, though, in constant weight free diving? Uh, so in constant weight, it's, as the name suggests, you bring, you're not changing your weight as you go down and you come up again. Um, there is another discipline called uh, variable weight where, they, where people would hold on to a weight and be pulled down by the weight, and then they leave the weight and come up. So that's variable. And then with constant, you just have the same amount of weight that you go down and up. It can be used, um, you can use a monofin or a bifin um, or bifins in uh, separate events. And Michelle, you know, you are so experienced in this. You have a, a, a school, we understand as well, uh, called Zen Free Diving, and, and you've been a, a competitive mm -hmm. in this sport for a while, uh, setting and, and resetting our national records for about 10 years now. What were some of the challenges, though, that you faced over the years uh, in your training? So the main one would be time, um, not having enough time really, because for free diving you need to train quite a bit, and especially for depth you have to uh, you have to go to the location, get used to the location, and uh, train to adapt to the pressure that you experience um, as you go deeper and deeper. So that was the main challenge because I, um, you know, with work you have to juggle work and and life, and then um, it was just really not quite compatible with having a like nine to five sort of job where you only have a certain amount of leave every year. Yeah, so that was the main issue. And also in Singapore, we don't really have access to very deep spots. So you would have to go overseas and train, uh, which takes up a lot of time too. Yeah. I imagine going from that meditative space of, of free diving and, and being, you know, plunging the depths quite literally to going to an office job. Uh, what a difference and what a challenge. Mm. Uh, you know, in terms of uh, the future of diving, uh, Michelle, uh, this is a very unique sport. Not, it's not for everybody. What do you hope to see for the future of free diving here in Singapore and even in the region? So I think that free diving, it's, it is actually for everybody. Maybe the competitive side is not for everyone, but free diving is actually a really good lifestyle sport because it, um, it helps with your um, staying calm, it helps with stress relief, and it's good uh, when you have like a little training regime to help you stay healthy. So I hope that um, in Singapore, more people will pick up the sport and and practice it because yeah it's really it's really good uh it has a lot of benefits for everyone 
Um, and I hope that people will understand the sport better as well, because it's usually thought of as a dangerous sport, but the risks are, um, you know, they can be managed. It's not really more risky than a lot of other sports out there and it's very manageable. So I hope that, um, yeah, more people will learn and understand uh, the sport a bit better and then pick it up. Uh, and briefly, Michelle, what's next uh, in terms of competition? So uh, there's quite a few local pool competitions in Singapore, actually, which um, I might uh, join those if, if I'm uh, in Singapore at the time. And I'll be going to Greece in September to do another depth competition. So that's quite exciting. And then from there, just to um, just continue with the training and improving and being able to go deeper and deeper uh, in the coming months and years. Yeah. Well, well, Michelle, we wish you the very best in that pursuit. Uh, Michelle, we there. Uh, she's a free diver and also co-founder of Zen Freediving.